What's going on, you guys? School boy, Lupe, had to get another video. So the Spurs are finalizing deals for Paul Gasol and uh, Mono Ginobili. Now this is good for the Spurs, okay? You get to keep some of your veterans, and you get to get them for the low, okay? I assume that they're gonna sign Manu on a low deal and Pyle on a low deal as well. Now I think the Spurs got enough, kind of. But it just really depends on how things play out. I also think they're going to need something else. So, like, they're going to have to make a move throughout the season and kind of move around some guys because I'm not sure if they have completely enough to beat Golden State. But they also got to beat Houston. Houston's on there, too. So, you know, you got kind of a hard situation here because if you get paired up with Houston, I think it's going to be bad. I mean, we saw what you did last time, but this is going to be a whole different season. I think the threes are going to still be flying, and it's kind of hard to hold threes because if they hit too many of them, now you're kind of already gone. And I wouldn't say you want to get in a shootout with shooters, okay? You never want to get in a shootout with shooters. That's why Golden State and Houston are those type of teams that it's kind of hard to beat them because them throwing up so many threes adds up. And if you try to compete with them, like I've seen LeBron and the Cavs try to compete with Golden State on taking threes, and it's kind of hard. It's not easy. And the only way I think you can defend teams like that is with defense. And that's why the Spurs are considered one of those teams that are up there because their defense is so excellent that, you know, these shooting teams, they kind of have trouble. But I'm not sure if, you know, the Spurs are going to have enough to really be able to stop the threes this season. Because if Houston gets mellow, I get that, you know, you're going to have a guy for that in Kawhi Leonard, but what do you have for all these other guys? Because they got Chris Paul. He can still shoot threes. You know what I'm saying? You still got James Harden. He can shoot threes. And you got a whole bench of guys that can, you know, potentially shoot threes as well. So we're going to have to see what happens. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting, but I'm excited to see. Um, I think next season is going to be better than this season, but – that's just a prediction, so we'll find out. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.